calculate that, we said, uh, at 10 percent. That tells you it's approximately 500 acres, but you also confirmed that uh, in the earlier request for the approval of the master plan, 406 acres had already been set aside for public use. So it is therefore dishonest for Preston under the tutorship of a few politicians. And this we are clear about because the whole person was doing yesterday is playing to the gallery and dancing to political tunes which he had been lured into, thinking that they could uh, coerce us by threatening that uh, they are going to scandalize us, that we would give in. So it is therefore dishonest that person under the tutorship of a few politicians of ill will chose to mislead the public with defamatory and offensive statements against the county government and its leadership during the press conference yesterday. And I dare say that uh, it is very, very unbecoming, very unbecoming. It's, uh, it's unprecedented that uh, a man of uh, person's standing with the confidence that has been given to him by a lot of investors, whom we welcome, as I said, in Kiambu, and whom we respect and whom we shall protect, should opt to give himself up to uh, political schemes in the county. And uh, thinking that we as a county government are going to bend the law. A man of person standing should be aware that there are organs of government mandated with investigations of merit, worthy, and credible claims, and he chose to play to the gallery by addressing a press conference. Well, of course, it is clear that if he had made any merit of distortion, of being uh, extorted, then he knows all the organs. The entity has been here for 14 years. He knows that we have the DCI, we have the police, we have VACC. They are credible places where you make allegations if they are truthful. But uh, calling for a press conference and saying that he loves the media, uh, we all love the media, but we know what to take where. And that was just intended to achieve one goal, to scandalize us with the intention of scaring us that as political leaders will be scared not to state facts as they are. So we have been in touch with the management of Tattoo City as evidenced in the following correspondences. We have them here, we we'll share with the media. There was a letter that was dated September 18, 2023 that was shared also with the National Director for Physical Land Use and Planning.